Tonight, a Minnesota doctor accused of poisoning his wife is in jail. Dr. Connor Bowman, a poison specialist, is charged with second-degree murder of Betty Bowman after police say they got a tip that his wife's death in August was suspicious. It was devastating and it was so, so sad, and I just couldn't believe that somebody as young as Betty and as generally healthy as Betty could possibly happen. Betty's friends now reeling with agony that her death might have been caused by her own husband. Police telling NBC News investigators collected evidence that suggests Connor, who once worked for poison control, may have given Betty a drug for an ailment she did not have. According to a criminal complaint filed against Connor Bowman, after Betty's death, Bowman wanted to cremate his wife, but the medical examiner's office halted the cremation. They determined her death was suspicious. The complaint also states police found internet searches about the drug colchicine and determining what a lethal dose would be by entering his wife's weight. Colchicine was found in her system in her toxicology report. The state's going to have to show that this drug is toxic and that the toxicity level is what caused the death. And they're going to have to explain why this drug should not have been in her system and that it had potentially fatal side effects. Because if the drug wasn't dangerous, then it's going to be hard to prove that she was given a dangerous drug. The complaint also states the couple had separate bank accounts because Bowman was in debt and that police spoke to a woman who said Bowman claimed he would get $500,000 in life insurance as a result of his wife's death. Betty's friends say Connor showed some people the lab reports at her funeral and asked if anything stood out. At the time, nothing seemed nothing seemed out of place or unusual. Or, but you, you start to look back now and you think, well, you know, maybe... Well, what was that about? An attorney listed as representing Bowman in court documents did not return NBC's request for comment. Bowman's next court appearance is set for November 1st, and his unconditional bond is set for $5 million. He's facing a maximum 40 years behind bars if convicted.